Hello, my name is Brooke Harry and I am a Program Supervisor with the Assistive Technology Partnership, or ATP. I administer the National Deaf-Blind Equipment Distribution Program in the state of Nebraska, also referred to as the I Can Connect Program. I am going to spend the next few minutes going over basic information about I Can Connect and the eligibility requirements for the program. Thank you for joining me and resources as well as my contact information will be shared at the end of the presentation. First, I Can Connect is a national program. The FCC allots $10 million a year throughout the United States for the distribution of telecommunications equipment and training for low-income individuals who are deafblind. Each state has their own program and the focus of I Can Connect is to ensure that individuals with a combined vision and hearing loss can access the phone and internet to stay in touch with friends and family. The National Deaf-Blind Equipment Distribution Program began in July of 2012 and was under the Nebraska Commission for the Deaf and Hard of Hearing. In July of 2014, ATP became the certified agency to continue the pilot program, and then in July of 2017, ICANN Connect was established as a permanent program under the FCC. ATP was awarded certification to coordinate program services and funding. The Nebraska Commission for the Blind and Visually Impaired and the Nebraska Commission for the Deaf and Hard of Hearing continue to be great partners with I Can Connect and provide referrals as well as consultation on equipment. This slide states the definition of deafblind for the purpose of the I Can Connect program. To be eligible, someone must be legally blind or have a diagnosis that would indicate progressive vision loss that will ultimately find the individual to be legally blind. They must also be diagnosed with severe hearing loss. The third section states that to be eligible for the I Can Connect program, the individual's combination of vision and hearing loss need to also cause extreme difficulty in attaining independence in daily living activities, achieving psychosocial adjustment, or in obtaining vocation. As you can see, there is no black or white definition, so we rely on the attestations of qualified individuals to assess the severity of the loss on a case-by-case -case basis. Qualified attestors include, but are not limited to, a licensed physician or PA, audiologist, an ophthalmologist or optometrist, deafblind specialist, speech therapist, staff from the Nebraska Commission for the Deaf and Hard of Hearing, or staff from the Nebraska Commission for the Blind or Visually Impaired, or a representative from Helen Keller. Please be aware that there is also no age requirement for eligibility. The individual must just be able to use the telecommunications equipment they are seeking independently. This program could be appropriate for individuals at all stages of their lives and is also not just available once. An application is only good for a year, but someone could reapply in the future if they have the need. For the purpose of eligibility for the I Can Connect program, low-income individuals refers to those who have income below 400% of the federal poverty level. This is fairly generous relative to income guidelines for most federal programs. For a family of four, for example, they could not have a combined household income of more than $104,800 if they lived in Nebraska or anywhere else in the United States except Alaska and Hawaii, which have specific numbers for their own states. Documentation must be provided by the individual or family of the income for anyone working or living in the home. Documents provided could include tax returns, a bank statement, or benefit award letters for things like Social Security, Medicaid, or housing verification if that applies. This slide gives examples of telecommunication equipment that could be recommended for someone who is eligible for the I Can Connect program for help accessing the phone and or internet including a smartphone, an amplified landline phone, an iPad, desktop computer or laptop, magnification software like Zoom Text, or screen reading software like JAWS, braille displays, alerting devices, as well as training and how to use these devices could also be available. The ICANN Connect application can be found in several places, including on the Assistive Technology Partnership website, the ICANN Connect website, or by simply contacting me directly for a copy. Links to each of these are provided on the next slide. 
After the ICANN Connect application is received, eligibility verification is completed by the program supervisor for both the impairment and income. Once eligibility is completed, if deemed eligible, a communication assessment is scheduled with a technology specialist. The technology specialist will often come out to the individual's home to conduct the assessment or due to the current pandemic can complete an assessment over the phone or virtually with the help of friends and family. The assessment is basically a conversation with the individual and anyone else that the person feels is appropriate to speak on their behalf. The goal is to identify the individual's equipment and training needs when it comes to telecommunication. Once recommendations are determined, the equipment is ordered and typically delivered to the technology specialist who delivers it and assists with setup and installation. Then training of up to 10 hours can occur to help the client learn to use the equipment efficiently. The training could be provided by the technology specialist, the equipment vendor, or other qualified program partners. Links are provided to various resources that can be helpful as you research more about the ICANN Connect program, including the Assistive Technology Partnership website, the ICANN Connect program website, and the specific Nebraska ICANN Connect webpage where you can find the application to apply for services. The Helen Keller National Center and Perkins School for the Blind websites are also shared. There is finally an ICANN Connect PSA video you can view as well on YouTube. And finally, here is my contact information. If you have any questions about the program, eligibility guidelines, or just need a hard copy of the ICANN Connect application mailed out, please feel free to contact me. Thank you for your time, and I appreciate your help in increasing awareness of the ICANN Connect program so those who qualify can benefit from this great program. Thank you.